Let me tell you something that really chops my ass. Okay, so this is Billy Burns. Let me tell you what, uh, I, I can't say this chops my ass. It just fills me with wonderment. I mean, it's like I took an ecstasy tablet and I'm looking around me going, Oh my God. Like I'm in the gay nightclub and the disco music's pounding it and everything around me is surreal. It's like I took the molly. I saw, <laughs> I saw this news bit today, or I heard about it today, and then I looked it up on the interwebs, and it is this school down in Alabama has encouraged or asked the children to each bring a canned food item to school. And this is in preparation for like a new town type shooting that if there is indeed a crazed shooter comes into school, the kids will pelt him with cans of food. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I can't hold it together. <laughs> <laughs> the kids will pummel him with the cans of unwanted food that was like expired in mom's pantry and this is got a blunt force trauma will force the shooter to withdraw and the children will be saved <laughs> now now that do i have to explain what's wrong with that do i have to tell you why that is the fucking singular most stupid fucking idea ever conceived by man. Do I? Do I need to articulate? Do I need to elucidate why that's not gonna work? You know, the guy with the big scary AR-15 comes in and he's hell-bent on just slaughtering kids. Oh god, I got hit in the head with some zoodles. I'll drop my weapon and go on the floor and cry. And the eight-year-old, he's gonna be like Eric Cartman. Stay here, hippie! <laughs> and conk him with it. And then Stan and Kyle are going to hit him too with the canned beans and some gefilte fish. <laughs> it's not going to happen. It's not. It's not going to work. It is just stupid. And even think, why don't you get some steel doors with some real locks on them? You know, if you're so terrified to have weapons or security with weapons or you don't want to, you, you know, you're not going to disarm all the loonies. That didn't happen. I mean, everybody that's done these school shootings has either stolen the gun or killed somebody else and took their gun or like that freak show down in L.A. that made the, the YouTube videos, the creepy dude that couldn't get laid. Oh, God, I watched that YouTube video. Man, I had to take a shower after. Dude is like, ah, these women don't like me. I'm going to kill them. They have sex with everybody else. <laughs> I'm like, oh, dude, <laughs> you, you, I was going to say you need to go to a shrink, but he had been in a shrinks for like 15 years of his 20 years. So, yeah, obviously that don't work. And that's more voodoo, by the way, is uh, psychology, like some smartified, educatomized, uh, psychological uh, expert is going to, set you down on a couch and go, tell me about your mother. And it's somehow going to fix your ass? No, you can't fix crazy. I've been around crazy. Hell, I was married to crazy for a while there. You can't fix that shit, you know? You can give them Thorazine and they just kind of gnaw it out. That's about it. You know, they had it down in the Middle Ages. Just lock them up. Lock them up and throw food over the wall. And let them fight it out. And then just drag the dead ones out. It's like raising chickens, you know? Got a few thousand chickens in a barn. Every night you go in there, there's a couple dead ones. You just take them and throw them to the dogs. And that's what you do. This woman that, that, that thought up the idea of pelting the shooter with canned food, she should be put in the chicken coop with the crazies and given Thorazine and not be teaching children at public expense, at the taxpayer's expense. Once again, we get to pay for the fucking stupid, stupid ideas that government dildos come up with. And that's what really chaps my ass.